Right, let's now speak to Carwell Bjork James in Syracuse, New York. He's Assistant Professor of Anthropology at Vanderbilt University. Thank you so much uh, for being with us on Al Jazeera. Uh, a lot of the focus in recent weeks has been on Brazil and, and the right-wing government there allowing these fires to begin by letting people clear land. But in Bolivia, as we just saw, you have a left-wing government which has let the same thing happen. Yeah, and it's understandable that the focus has been on Brazil, which is the larger of the forests. But we are now talking about over a million hectares under fire in uh, in Bolivia this year. Um, it has been true since about 2008 that uh, the Santa Cruz Department, which is the center of the fires, has been you know one of uh, the largest single uh, geographic hotspot for deforestation in the uh, Amazon basin, um, and that's because that is being converted into. Uh, large agribusiness, either for soy or cattle, uh, typically destined for export. Does Bolivia have the resources to, to handle this crisis? I mean, I think everyone from the president on down recognizes that it doesn't, the Bolivian government doesn't have the adequate resources to control fires when they reach this level, um, and they will need international assistance as well as uh, volunteer efforts in order to um, combat it. And this is one of the reasons why there's been a lot of mobilization in Bolivia demanding uh, the government step up its efforts, which it must be said, um, the government has moved uh, to be much more proactive this week than it was last week, um, kind of at the peak of uh, the fire crisis. Who, who is to blame? What is to blame for, for the fires in Bolivia? Well, at, at one level, there's an industry that is uh, an agribusiness industry that's very interested and involves uh, a lot of powerful interests in Santa Cruz. Um, but it's also the case that, you know, since I would say about 2013, uh, the national government, which does lean to the left, but in this case is courting a very right um, leaning uh, regional power um, within, within Santa Cruz, um, has made a lot of moves to enable the expansion of what it calls expanding the agrarian frontier. Um, mm -hmm. And that means putting new land under uh, as cropland or grazing land. And there's simply no way to do that in Santa Cruz without impinging on uh, on the forest. So national plans have gone forward. New laws have been uh, set up to allow that to happen um, at a larger scale. Um, and those things are benefiting, you know, medium and, medium and large farmers uh, predominantly. Do you think there's a, there's a possibility that there can be a regional, a coordinated regional response uh, to, to this crisis with the different mm. governments in the region? I mean, there has been, uh, the Morales government has expressed support for that idea. Um, it's not clear if we're hearing that from the Bolsonaro side. Um, but there's one thing to address the fires, and the other is to, um, as a sort of natural, man-made natural disaster, and the other is to, uh, rethink some of the policies, economic policies that are driving deforestation. And I think that the larger challenge is the latter. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to us about this. Carwell York James from Vanderbilt University joining us there via Skype. Thank, thank you, you for much. your time. Thank you for having me.